Before we get into today's video, a reminder that I'm up for the best non-league YouTuber in the non-league Bible Awards. So uh, if you do ind indeed think that I've been the uh, best non-league YouTuber over the course of the last year or so, then uh, you can prove that by voting for DB30 Sports TV. But in the link provided, just go down to the best non-league YouTuber category, uh, click on my channel's name, and uh, from there you just need to submit it. You don't need to fill in your personal details or anything. It's been a hell of a year for the channel. Let's round it all off. Yes, good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 19th of October 2024 and today we're heading over to Greater Manchester for what is probably the most uh, sort, sort of seen fixture on this particular channel and uh, it is of course Altrincham versus Gateshead in the National League. Now uh, originally I wasn't uh, going to be able to make this game today but uh, things, the slight sort of change in circumstances means that I actually can so uh, let's get into this. It is the start of a the new era today for the Heat and I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. But for now, let's just get that train over to Manchester. So here I'm in Altrincham and uh, going into this afternoon's game, uh, Altrincham are currently in 11th place in the National League table. It's been a bit of a consistency issue above all else for them so far, but I think as I always say uh, when we are about to play them, uh, which is uh, has been quite a lot over the last few years, um, they are one of those sides that uh, I do actually uh, quite enjoy watching. I think they play a good uh, brand of football, uh, like pretty similar to us, like always looking to be on the front foot uh, and uh, I think uh, another thing I always say is that it, it genuinely astonishes me that uh, Phil Parkinson hasn't been snapped up by a football league club yet but uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm pretty certain that he, he won't have been sort of short of interest or anything like that so uh, maybe fair play to him for sticking with the project he has got going on at uh, Altrincham but uh, as for Gates said uh, we are still in uh, fourth place in the uh, National League table uh, since that 2-1 uh, loss at Tamworth um, there's been no uh, National League fixtures obviously all the whole league was on an FA Cup break uh, last weekend and uh, yeah uh, obviously I wasn't at either of the games I made my thoughts and feelings on uh, what's happened to the FA Cup this year they're perfectly well known but uh, obviously we were uh, beaten in a replay by uh, eighth tier side Hensford Town which uh, I know Hensford have um, like on paper the, the squad sh maybe should be playing a couple of divisions higher but uh, it's still like not great and I think uh, the main issue in uh, the games I have been to haven't been to um, has been um, a distinct uh, lack of leadership above all else but uh, in the in the week we did get the news that uh, Carl Magne has uh, taken up the uh, managerial position at the club uh, to be assisted by a uh, former um, 
f former Leeds Brighton and uh, Sunderland defender uh, Liam Bridcourt. Um, so he's uh, well, I don't think assistant's the right word. I think he's a first team coach. Um, I don't think we've got an assistant manager of yet. But uh, it is good to see Carl Magnet back at the club, and I can see the logic behind that appointment. Um, I think it's a, a, another nod to the continuity. Like you think of it, uh, since um, the first season under Maika, we've never really had like a mass exodus of players. The following summer, um, I, um, that the style of football has always remained uh, maybe not too dissimilar. Obviously, uh, when Rob took over from Mike. Um, you did notice one or two things were maybe slightly different, and I think that'll be the same with uh, Magnet as well. Like he'll want, maybe want to implement his own ideas, but uh, I think obviously this uh, period over the next few weeks or so, uh, I think uh, you might see maybe new managers bounce. Uh, certainly, I think with the sort of performance and the eagerness to impress uh, the results is possibly a different matter um, but obviously at, the, at this point uh, players are fighting to either keep the place in the first team or to uh, maybe show Magne why they should be uh, get, getting starts on a more regular basis so uh, there's going to be a competition for places um, but uh, I think um, obviously when Rob left I think one of the main concerns for a lot of people was uh, would maybe when January comes um, experience what we did uh, last year where a lot of our players ended up moving on um, so obviously I think this summer uh, Rob was probably a huge reason why a lot of them decided to stay decide to stay um, let's hope that uh, Magna can be like the, the, the reason in January and beyond while I want to stay even longer but you know what I've got I've got faith in the guy like he knows the club inside out he's certainly got a passion and, and the drive for it he's a good motivator and I, I think as well he uh, he comes across as a good man manager like he's the sort of guy that um he'll have a, a laugh and a joke uh, keep the morale up but he'll never let uh the the hard work or the the standards drop or anything like that so it's it's going to be a tough game this today at the start of uh Difficult run of games if, if we're telling the truth. Um, obviously, a Sutton away on Wednesday night, which ain't going to be easy. I personally won't be at the game due to work commitment. Uh, Solly all at home next Saturday. Um, yeah, to, always a tough side to play against, plus the obvious uh, revenge factor in, in it for them. Uh, then from there, the AC filed away a couple weeks after, which we never seem to do well at. But uh, one game at a time, and uh, today it is all about uh, seeing if. Uh, we can carry on our decent record uh, ground that has uh, brought me a lot of good memories over the last few years. So uh, let's head on down to uh, Moss Lane, of course, via the good catch and find out how it all unfolds. This is why you can't go wrong with this away day. So the ground's there and the, non the holy grail of non-league football is there. So there is a slight delay to kick off. Uh, the Gateshead team were stuck in traffic on the uh, M62, I think it was. Uh, so I think it's going to be now quarter past three instead of three o'clock. So altering are out warming up. They're uh, going to be in a red and white uh, striped home strip this afternoon. And the uh, black shorts are still uh, no Gateshead players other than the goalkeepers out warming up at the minute. Oh, this obviously is a result of... Um, the uh, delays that they had getting down here. The kickoff is now incidentally five past three instead of quarter past upon the request of Altrincham. Uh, I'll be back when the uh, Gates are team out, out and warming up. And now Gates are out to warm up. They're going to be in the uh, blue and claret away strip. And I'll tell you what, I do rate uh, Wheelow going full Zlatan with that hairdo. Um, anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match. So it's a bit of an unusual combination this afternoon for our kit, a uh, uh, black third strip with the uh, away shorts. There you go. Come on, boys. Bit of an unusual song to play before the football starts. And the Carl Magnet era is underway. Can 
It's the first time I've ever been down here and I'll be absolutely tipping it down. Eight short corners. There is a blatant handball like. I love how quickly the Old Chicken announcer the, announces the goal scorer. But, um, but every time I come here, it was on it within seconds. Go on, Hannah. Oh, Go on. Go on. Yeah. I can't believe I'm winning this game, mind. Gate set! I'll do that. Well done. <laughs> half time, altering in one gate said two. Uh, for the most part, at half hour, we're actually uh, on the back foot. Uh, Altrincham have uh, had more of the plane, more of the chances. Um, it was uh, maybe difficult for us to uh, actually get out of our own half. Uh, the penalty, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was uh, absolutely needless. Um, like There was no real threat even with the cross coming in. There's no need to be putting your hands up like that. Just uh, maybe get your chest ahead to it and uh, put it out for a corner if need be. But uh, 
yeah, no need to be putting your hands out like that. Uh, and uh, I, th I think we maybe rolled the cusp of a wave a little bit with, the, uh, with some of the chances that um, Altrincham were creating. But uh, with literally our first moment of the game, uh, Jacob Butterfield's gone and banged one in to the corner from distance. And uh, we had a good uh, spell for, like, the, for 10 minutes or so. And uh, obviously I uh, took the leader through Owen Asenia, slipped slip through really well, uh, slotted the ball away really well and uh, that is the reason we find ourselves in front at half time but I think what we will say is that um, you can see what the plan is with regards to the play and what have you um, I think uh, in the games where we're under caretaker management um, there were times when uh, you just didn't know what the style of play was uh, you didn't know, it, maybe even didn't really know what the game plan was but uh, I think you can see a bit more clear direction here um, I think it's been a typical Altrincham versus Gates a game it's been very open I think it'll continue to be very open um, if we can get that third goal and that might help quite a bit but uh, I'm absolutely certain Altrincham will get a few more chances of their own in the second half so the, there's still a lot to be decided in this game yet Jacob. Oh, save. He's surely going to have to go off Ethan Ross, isn't he? Go on. Go on. minutes of added time at the end of this game, six minutes. Fourth official showing a minimum. 
Be. I'm only convinced we're just bringing Mark Beck on here just to see if we can get on the end of this header from the free kick. No other reason has got to be. In it comes. Out it goes. Full time. Not a bad point. Just thank you for your support this afternoon of 1,881 on the 166 away supporters. Just a reminder that Sir Alton Yamara back here at the J. Davidson Stadium on Wednesday this evening. Full-time, Altrincham 2, Gates had 2. A uh, slightly disappointing goal to concede late-ish in the game, but uh, in terms of the overall uh, performance, I'm uh, relatively happy with how we played today. I think uh, in the second half especially, um, we... Uh, it was, it was, I think overall it was quite an open game, wasn't it? Uh, very typical of this fixture. And I think once again, what has to be said, it was uh, an excellent advert for the National League, as it always seems to be when uh, Gateshead and Altrincham play each other. You've got two sides there that uh, like to get, get the ball on the ground, they like to play attacking football, create as many chances as possible. So uh, it's probably always going to be one of those games that's going to be close it's going to be um, possibly uh, high high scoring ish so um, yeah I really can't grumble at a point in that one because um, it's a result I would have gladly taken before the game like there's been a lot of maybe unrest recently obviously it's uh, Carl Magnet's first game as manager but I think for the first time in a few weeks today you could uh, probably see like what 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 the actual plan was uh, like we had a we played a system that the players finally look comfortable with and uh, yeah and uh, yeah we had our chances to maybe put it beyond doubt in the second half but it wasn't to be but uh, I think it's, it's Carl Magnier's first game it was always going to be a tricky test but uh, we've managed to not come away from it empty-handed so I think now it's just a case of um, like look at what was good about the performance there because yes there was uh, quite a lot of good stuff there in my opinion uh, but as well uh, maybe just have a look at one or two things that could be worked on and uh, just um yeah and I, th I think uh, before too long it'll be uh, like almost like things have uh, n never even changed so um yeah there was like it e e doesn't matter who the manager is like if, if you come into Moss Lane and pl playing against Altrincham you're always going to have an extremely difficult game and order have uh, been a little bit hit and miss so far this season but I think they will get there as the season goes on but as for us now where we uh, move on uh, Sutton away on Wednesday night as I mentioned I won't be at that game but I'll be there at the International Stadium next Saturday against uh, Solihull so uh, two uh, difficult games um, I know Solihull especially will be on a real high after absolutely hammering Barnet today but um, you know what uh, I'm just um, yeah I'm, I'm just uh, maybe relieved somewhat because um, like obviously I was happy that Carl Magne got a job I could really see the logic behind it but uh, there is always that sort of thing in the back of your mind of um, you know what's the first game going to be like so I'm kind of glad that that one's out the way and uh, you know what we can move on now and uh, hopefully you can maintain the sort of position that we are in because uh, yeah we are still in a very very good position with regards to the league uh, still another another crack at the FA Trophy to go for the Durham Challenge Cup as well so um yeah, I'm not taking the fact we've gone out of the FA Cup in midweek. Like, they're not going to let themselves get too down about it. Just got to move on now. Where uh, there was definitely a response today. Let's let's put it that way. And uh, onwards we go. So uh, that is that for this video. And I'll be back 
on Tuesday night with a bit of a time side derby from the Northern Premier League East Division. It is Dunstan versus Heaton Stannington, so we uh, got to say, really looking forward to that one. But until then, take care, cheers for watching. See you later.